All right, friends, those of you that know me know that unless I'm on the road, not really a Mr. Fix-It type. This washing machine hasn't worked, and I keep saying, I'm gonna fix it when I get some free time. Well, no one has anything but free time now. In my world, at least. I don't know about you. I, I assume we're all sitting at home doing the right thing, staying away from people. Um, so, I'm gonna take this little thing apart, see if I can fix it. Save myself some money. Got nothing else to do. Got no money. Cause no work. Here we go. Okay, so one thing I forgot is that there's water still in here. So, pan. I'm gonna figure out how to take the agitator out. That'll probably clear some space up. All right, so, figured out that the agitator is like a 7 16th. So, here we go. Agitators out. Now it's time to get the water out of this thing. All right, making a change to a smaller cup. Also, basically everything I own comes from a band. Thanks, Hiddingsons. Step one, figuring out how to take it apart. Because I've never taken a washing machine apart. I guess I could grab my iPad and look it up, but what fun would that be? I'm just gonna go ahead and start clawing at stuff until it comes apart. Also, just so everyone knows, it's, it's unplugged. I'm not doing this with electricity. All right, so far, so not good. Ooh, that's a was supposed to come apart. Oh, actually, that, that might be right. I think that's right. Okay. Getting somewhere. A um, little book. A little schematic in here. Uh, let's see what this is. Doesn't seem useful. Not at all in this moment. Uh, everything in here looks to be in good shape. What I really think I need to do is take the cover off. So, <clears throat> time to hunt around for some screws. Okay, I've lifted it up. There are screws in the back somewhere, so I'm gonna go back here and see what I can figure out. Okay. All right, so I'll watch some videos. Uh, because I was getting nowhere, and apparently, I can... Oh, well, look at that. Look at that. Like a boss. Things are happening now. Moving right along in this process. You gotta keep these. These are, these are how the thing goes back on there. So, what they call the control panel. Now, I'm starting to see the innards of this thing. Oh, look at that. That's actually... Look at this, guys. Look at that, I opened it. We're getting, uh, moving right along there. Look at that, one little video, and this is where I've gotten to. Like a boss. I don't even know what this thing is, but for some reason I feel like I should open it and see if it's clogged. And if it's full of water. 
it's gonna be a mistake. Uh, maybe I'll put my little pan down there, my little, my little pot. Just this in. I wonder. Oh yeah, we're making all kinds of progress now. I'm gonna put the agitator up there. Oh yeah. Oh, we're making progresses now. Okay, whatever that is, it didn't just come off. There we go. Um, so, at this point, I, I don't know what to do. Because there could totally be a problem that I just don't know what it is. Because, you know, I'm, I'm like not a washing machine repairman or anything. So, I'm going to take some look-sees around. Uh, see what things say on them what they could be, squeeze some hoses. So I feel like if I, well, I feel like I need is a pair of pliers, stand by. All right, friends, I found pliers. So this could get, I don't know if you can see. So down there, there's, that's, I, I, I don't know what that is. I was gonna guess, but I don't know. I don't know how to work on a washer. Just got time and nothing to do. So there are two clamps on there. See if I can, nope, can't zoom. Anyway, two clamps on there. I'm going to take them off and see what happens. It could go horrible and you probably won't be able to see because it'll just be my backside in your face. Pull my pants up. All right, here we go. No, I was just thinking I can move my phone. Okay, so I moved the phone, second angle, that's crazy. But because I think this could end up being hilariously funny, first of all, I'm having all kinds of issues just getting this clamp off right here. Hey girls, Mary Paul, she... He knows how to do it. He knows how to sentence. He knows how to fix things. No. No. So, there's still water inside of this thing, which is why I think either the water pump is broken or the... or something's clogging it up. I don't think that pan's gonna be big enough for this problem, guys. Told you this would be funny, uh, as well as a little sad. It's okay, I own a mop. So, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to find it um, once this is 
a little more settled down, I guess. So, that doesn't seem to be necessarily clogged. So that's a lot of water, um, which I should have expected, let's be honest. It's fine. It's fine. That's why I'm doing this. Um, it does kind of make me... Oh, that in there looks all right. So what I what I do know is that everything down here spins. This thing seems to work. there, I don't know what to do. <coughs> I was hoping something was clogged. It's clearly not, or if it was, it's not anymore. I mean, the engine could be burned out, the motor, not an engine. Uh, okay, so here we are at the end of this project, and I didn't succeed. I was unable to fix my washer. I tried all the things that I found on the internet and they didn't work. So there wasn't, I was hoping there was just a sock stuck in the um, water pump. There wasn't. There was no socks. My socks were too big to fit in there. I don't know why I ever thought that. I don't have any baby socks. Anyway, not washing clothes for my nephews. Anyway, the moral of this story is this is one of those things that I said, I don't have time to do this because I'm too busy. I'm on the road. Well. I'm not on the road. I can't be on the road. Uh, the road doesn't exist at the moment. So I did the thing. I did the hard thing. I did the thing that I've been putting off, the thing I didn't want to do. Uh, and water went everywhere and it sucked. Uh, but I did it. And that's what we all have time for now. We all have time to do those things. We have time to do the things that we've said, oh, I'll just put that off, clean out your attic, repaint that room. Do a deep clean spring cleaning on your house. We all thought, oh, we'll be busy for the next little while. Well, you know what? Life has slowed down and it's slowed down to where it can't speed back up for a while. So do those things. Do them. Also, keep talking to your friends, whether it's FaceTime or Instagram or however it is. Stay in touch. Don't get buried in this to where you don't have friends when you come out on the other side. Uh, call people. Talk to them. If you're in the music industry, if you're in the touring world, then talk to each other because that's the only way we're going to survive. None of us are going to make any money for the next first little while. And the only way we're going to survive is to talk to each other. So find a friend, phone a friend, make a friend, reach out to me. I got nothing going on. My nephews came over today and that was the most exciting part of my life in the past three days. Um, and then I tried to fix my washer and failed. But my best friend is bar is, has a rental truck right now, so I can get one. I can go buy a hundred dollar washer off of Amazon and we can go together and make sure I don't get killed doing it. Anyway, this has turned into rambling. It's two minutes and 15 seconds long and I'm sorry, but do the hard things, keep going, and we're all going to end up with a lot of work on the other side of this. Talk to you soon.